Watch out, new Gadget Cash video coming right your way. Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Hailmeister here. I'm doing, I'm gonna show you a geocache. That's a gadget cache. Uh, something fun to do while here in the Memphis area. And I'm excited to welcome back to the channel, Sir Drumalot. Hey guys, how's it going? All right. Thanks for having me. Yes. Just another couple hundred feet up the path here. We're getting close. All right, just over here yonder. Oh, I can see it from here. What is that? All right, we got a box here. Check that out. The box has some uh, some notes on it, musical notes. I see a hinge here and a hinge here. Looks like the door opens that way, unless it's one of those tricky doors. And ultimately here, there's a lock. We got to. Pretty sure we gotta get that off. Pretty sure about that. All right, so we know the combination is on the cash page. No, oh, I should have. I should have looked at the cash page. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Lock is open. We got open it. Up. Let's open it up. What do we got inside? It's in there. What is this? What? A pad. A keypad. We already got the lock open. Yeah. Well, as you can see, this cache here is built by Derek from behind the cache, so thank you for this cache. All right, inside the box here, we got this keypad. I think that lets us into this secondary door here. Looks like it folds down. There's the hinge there, and I can kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. What's this button do here? All right, the cash box is playing songs for us and we have to figure out who sings it and the date it was recorded, I, I believe that's what it was. Enter those numbers into the keypad and then I guess we get access that way. Well, let's see what happens. All right, moment of truth here. Is that good or bad? I... Bad. What am I does that mean, I don't know. I don't know if I got it correct or not. What does that mean? <laughs> Maybe that is. It didn't unlatch. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna have to Google it again. Maybe we got the wrong, well, maybe we got the wrong date, perhaps. Trying the new code. Okay, here we go, moment of truth, again. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet! That's awesome. Wow, guys, that was pretty cool, don't you think? That was awesome. Yeah. yeah that's the really, uh, coolest cache I've ever seen. <laughs> well, that's really saying something. <laughs> All right, well, I see we got a log book in here and some goodies. Let's, let's take it out. All right, Neil Moore's got the honors of putting it all back. There we go. That's a good one right there. Sweet. Well, that one's definitely getting a favorite point from me as well as my two other guys here were, said they're gonna give it one as well too. And how could you not? All right, we're going on to the next one down the trail. Come along with. Boy, it got dark quick. Time to go into spelunking mode. Just into the woods over here. All right, what do we got here? We got a, a box attached to the tree. Very nice. We gotta get in there somehow. It's just a plain box. Nothing, no lock, no hinge. Nothing. Maybe the hinge on the inside, huh? We got a little wiggle action. Huh. Okay. But something's catching it. Does it feel like there's a hinge on this side? Maybe. Now wait a minute here. I watched Derek Baker behind the cache. I think on his channel, I watched him make this cache. I don't think it's coming from the top. No, I think it's coming from the bottom. He had one where he made it from the bottom and he made one from the top. Well, unfortunately, the telescoping magnet we have with us tonight is not strong enough. We need something bigger and stronger and open to open that box tonight, and we don't have it with us. So, unfortunately, we're gonna close it off here tonight. It's completely dark, and we're heading back to the hotel, the Airbnb where we're staying. So we'll see you guys for the next episode of Geocaching with Hellmeister. Meister.